Hello, my name is Matt Henshin. And behind me, you can see the Alba Sea platform. It is one of four platforms in the Gulf of Guinea. These four platforms make up part of the Alba field and sit 16 miles away from the onshore gas processing facilities in Punta Europa. This facility behind me provides condensate to the Alba B facility, which is commingled with the other platforms and sent to the gas facility onshore for further processing. The gas facility makes condensate, LPG, methanol, butane, and propane, which is then sold to our customers. The Sea Riser replacement was a critical project for, for MEGPL and for Marathon overall. Uh, the Sea Platform is a small part of the, of the Alba complex overall, but it's a very important part. It produces around 47,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day, net to Marathon, from a liquids-rich section of the Alba Reservoir. So the risers effectively connect the wells to the export pipelines, and this gives us a, a, a safe and, and reliable export route to sale for our products. In 2011, a remotely operated vehicle survey was completed of the risers of the Alba Sea facilities. It was found that bubbles were escaping from the test riser. An engineering verification and risk assessment with the corporate reliability team determined that there was a stress-induced crack in the test riser. A clamp was installed to contain the fluid. The purpose of this project is to replace these risers. Engineering started as soon as risk analysis was completed and we have started with the installation. The project is to install two new risers, like for like, on the outside of the Alba C jacket. You can see behind me the two new topside spools that have been installed with new shutdown valves and also a brand new riser guard. What you can't see is below us, as I stand on the Topaz Commander, the installation of the new subsea spools that will tie this facility into the existing pipelines that allow the gas to flow from Alba C to the Alba B facilities. One of the great things about this, this project is the way we work together. Uh, operations, uh, maintenance, and, and construction all had a, a lot of tasks that we had to do to make this come to fruition. So a lot of things we were doing all at the same time that uh, were, were orchestrated to make a successful project. So we all learned that working with each other uh, at different backgrounds that we have makes us stronger as a group. Now that the project is over and we're all back on shore, Operations is once again reliably and safely delivering product to our customers.